if statement. So for the Python if statement, uh, this is the syntax here. You have the word if, uh, if, and then you have some variable, and you have the Boolean condition. We've had previous videos about this. This is basically means is the grade greater than or equals to 50. So this entire result becomes either true or false. And only if it is the case that this is true, it will the, the computer will actually run or execute this code immediately that's tabbed within the if statement. So here notice the if statement always has, ends with uh, a, a colon, the two dots here. And so please don't forget that it's a common error. And uh, let's run this code to see what happens. I'm going to go to run. And indeed it says pass. Now keep in mind that uh, you can do more than one thing within the if statement block. So I'm going to say print uh, hello. So here not only will it say pass, it's also going to say hello. If it is the case that this is true, it's going to execute, it's going to run all the code within the if statement block. So we know that this is the beginning and end of the block because it's all tabbed inside. It's actually tabbed inside. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's run it. Uh, just just out of curiosity for you to practice, let me just show you something here. If you press enter, it normally tabs in for you. If you press the tab key, it uh, does that. Now some of you might wonder is how to uh, untab. It's actually control left square bracket. So let me write that down. Control. Um, so control left square bracket means tab left control and then right square bracket at the same time means tab right all right that's good to know so here if I run this code can you guess what's gonna happen it should say both of these pass hello so if I run this it says pass hello it runs both uh, lines of code within the if block. Now however, if the case that the person failed, if they only got a 40%, so here unfortunately the grade is not greater than or equal to 50, so it's not going to do any of these, either one. It's going to basically say false, It's the condition is not true, therefore it jumps out of the if statement and goes to the next line over here. And you can see there's nothing left in the code here, so the Python program is done. It does nothing else. So let's run this. So here, it just does nothing, prints out nothing. Now, what I could do here is I can have another if statement. I'm going to say if grade is uh, less than 50, which is basically 49 and less, uh, I'm going to say print fail. So let me just get rid of this word hello. And indeed, the computer thinks here, and then it's going to uh, it's going to skip over here. It's going to execute this line where it's going to ask the question again. Is 40 less than 50? Indeed it is. It's going to print fail. So let's run it. It says fail. Now there's another way of doing this uh, um, <clears throat> using the if statement, using the else statement. I'm going to erase this and rewrite this as follows. So after I press enter, I'm going to type in the word else colon print fail. As you can see, there's more than one way to do things. The keyword else basically uh, uh, it, it runs this code if uh, the previous condition fails. So here, if it is the case that this if this is true, it's going to run this code and then it's going to jump out of the whole if block. However, if this is false, it's going to run this code here. This basically means or else if, if it is the case that this is false or else uh, run this code. So what that means is that it's guaranteed based on this if else block code block it's guaranteed to either execute this one or this one. It's guaranteed. So based on this code we are guaranteed to run to run either the top or bottom code. It must be because we have the else statement. Alright, more about this in the next video. Congratulations, you now have a basic uh, intuition for the if statement in Python.